And also in Imo State, the governor, Hope Uzadim, has flagged off Imo State mass transit service for civil servants in the state. The 30 mass transit buses, according to the governor, shall help reduce the difficulty faced by Imo civil servants by conveying them from various locations to office uh, to and fro at no cost. Speaking during the flagging of uh, ceremony, Governor Uzadim said the gesture is part of his commitment to ensure that he gets the civil service right as it is the engine room of every government. He stressed that his determination to sanitize the fraud in civil service was to ensure every real worker gets their salary as it went due. The governor also gave out Prado Jeeps and Hilux vehicles to political appointees to enable them carry out their functions. Cautious of the fact that when the citadel of justice is corrupt, the body politics rotates. I saw the civil service as the engine room of any meaningful administration. If you get the civil service right, then you are sure of a good government. You ignore the civil service, then there is no government. I'm aware that no matter how bad the situation is, there are always beneficiaries who will want the situation to remain the same. So when I discovered the huge fraud in our payroll system and how our payroll system has become a drain pipe to government revenue and knowing that without money there will be no government. Yesterday we promise you that this serious change in the service, both in moral value and in the delivery of service, Your Excellency, we will promise you high productivity. We promise you increased gener revenue generation. This training has really exposed the civil servants. And now away from Imo State, the North Central People's Forum has expressed worry over the alleged neglect of the region by the federal government. The leadership of the forum while meeting in Abuja called for immediate action by the federal government to develop the region. The forum also called for unity among its members. North Central People's Forum will be the platform that will offer all the six states and the federal capital territory and fall within North Central to a political zone, the opportunity to present the United Front to speak on behalf of the zone. Of course, in a desire to ensure that probable peace and stability is established and sustained within the zone. For sure, rapid industrialization across all nodes and crannies of zone. In order to break this jinx of national neglect, insecurity of lives and property, massive poverty and underdevelopment, resource underutilization, and progressive diminution of the zone, there is the need for cooperation, cohesion, coalition, and aggregation of all tribes, interests, cultures, and efforts for the prosperity of the zone. My advice is that we should bury our personal differences, bury our personal, political, economical, whatever ambition we might have, and allow this forum to survive. Thank you.